Hello everybody. Welcome to this week's tips and tricks video for Tecla structures. Today we are going to talk about how to find out the deleted objects between the model issued for approval and the model issued for fabrication. We have a sample model here ready to be issued for approval. What I'm going to do is take an IFC file for the approval model. Select all. Let's go to file export select ifc go to the advanced tab and make sure to check the assemblies bolts and any other you want come back to the parameters tab and change the output file name to ifa issued for approval after the export is complete the ifc file for the approval model will be saved in the ifc folder in the model folder after receiving the EOR command with the approved seal, it will take from a couple of days to months to receive the approved commands. We need to update those commands before issuing drawings for fabrication. In our case, just for example, we have deleted the two beams along grid line 3, added a roof opening frame, and changed the profile of this beam to W1840 per approver commands. I'm gonna take another IFC file for the IFF model, issuing for fabrication. Again select all, let's go to file, export, select IFC, change the output file name to IFF and click export. Now we have two IFC files. After updating and checking the approval commands, we might think the model is ready to be issued for IFF, issued for fabrication, but before that. I'm going to compare the changes in the model between IFA and IFF. To do that, I'm going to import the IFC file of the approval model into the Tecla structures. Go to the reference models, click on add model, browse and select the IFC file for IFA. I'm going to offset the reference model 50 feet in the Y axis to avoid importing inside the native objects. The reference model is inserted, double click on the reference model. To compare the changes, open the Change Detection tab. Browse and select the IFC file for the IFF model. Tecla will compare and show us the changes list with the GUIDs. The modified members are shown in yellow, newly added members are in green and the deleted members are shown in red. I'm gonna uncheck the unchanged members and update the view so that I can have a clear look at only the changes. The profile of this beam is changed per approver commands, so it's in yellow. These two beams along grid line 3 are deleted per approver commands, so they are in red. Their associated shear tabs and bolts are also in red. The roof opening frame is newly added, so it's in green. If we select in the changes list, the objects will be selected in the model. We can select and zoom in on the model to confirm the changes per approver commands. Wait a minute, this boat assembly has been deleted, which is not part of approver command. If you look at the model, the bolts have been either deleted manually or could have been gone due to conflict. The fabrication drawing for this column is not supposed to be delivered without bolt holes. These kind of situations occur when many users are working in the multi-user model. Normally after finalizing the model for approval, any checker would check only whether the approver's comments were updated. These kind of unwantedly deleted objects are difficult to find unless the number splits. Change detection using IFC helps us to find these kind of mistakes. Double click on the component and click on modify to get back the bolts. Now a field work has been avoided. So after sending approval, an IFC file must be taken and before sending for fabrication after checking the approvers comments, another IFC must be taken. A checker should check each deleted comment in this list is valid could have been deleted by the EOR commands or RFA response but it should be valid and inform the modeler to bring back any unknowingly deleted object. The changes list can be exported to an excel file if required by clicking this icon and export which will give us all the changes in a spreadsheet. Alright that's it for today if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button if you're new to our channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Thank you.